So we're talking about how do you maximize your social media footprint, uh, both the team with the posts that we've done, as well as while you're there, how do you leverage and use social media while you're doing it, okay? I think some of the things that everyone knows is that we do the boosts, right? We, we put out a post for it, okay? That post, that's the beginning part into your conversations because what I want us to do is look at how do we create conversations from the social media stuff that we are doing. So when a boost post, when a post goes out there that's boosted, let me bring one up here as I'm talking to you. We, oh, I actually typed in boost. That's not gonna get me in where I need to go. <laughs> so when you have your, 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 your post out there, and Karen, what was your property? Let's just go look at your property that you did the um, open house on, shall uh, we? It's 11302. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go to 11302. Find the open house post. As it loads in. Yep, oh, right up top. Oh, that one right there. Okay, so this this is the one, all right? Mm -hmm. So here's the post that went out. It's the just listed and grand opening open house post. That'll often be what you'll you guys will get. Now, what you need to do is as an editor on the page, and if you're not an editor, I need you to tell me that you're not an editor. Slack me that you're not an editor for your page so I can get you added. But everyone should be an editor on their page. Okay. So on here, what, we, what you're going to do is you're going to utilize this as your first place of contact. When this post goes out, you yourself should be going out there, liking it and sharing it out to your database. Okay. The reason that we want you to come in here and share this and not just pull the pictures and upload your own pictures and post it on your page as well is because when you share this, it tells Facebook that this post is important. People want to see this post because someone just shared it. Yeah, it's you, but Facebook's not worried about that. It's been shared. And so it's going to give now more leverage and more power behind this post, not just because it's in your feed, but because you've shared it and other people are interacting with it. That makes sense why we do that. Okay, so that's gonna be one of the first things. So you sign up for an open house, you know that these ads are going out what day? Man, that response was deafening. Uh, Friday. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy. The open house ads are going out. out. <laughs> the open house ads are going out Thursday or Friday. I have to allow for that 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 mute re removal to to respond as true. So the open house ads are going out Thursday, Friday ish, right? That, that's when they're hitting. You need to be aware and looking out for that to happen so that when it does happen, probably what you want to do is you come up here on your own feed and set this to give you notifications for the page so that you're getting notifications on anything that this page is, your page is doing because this is a lead generation source for you. Come in here, like it, share it, maybe even comment on it and not necessarily comment on it like, Hey, on in here on the page, come, come by and see me. I'll be there but just comment something about the house, like how you, you love it. Cause you want to start conversation, people having conversation. And sometimes people don't want to be the first one, but if you make a comment on this, like, let's see this, like, Oh my gosh, love the beautiful light in that room. I can see myself sitting in there, you know, something along those lines would love to have breakfast there. Oh, imagine being by the fire, you know, just some kind of comment about it. I don't know. I'm making these up. Whatever would be true to you, right? Make a comment about, the post so that it now shows up in there, then share it onto your page, onto your profile, I mean, right? Regularly onto your, onto your wall. That should be the first thing you do. Now that you've done that, as people engage with it, you're gonna get notifications. You need to go and engage with them. And here's what I mean. If they log, if they're on your page, right? On your wall, you of course likely know them. You can talk to them and engage in conversation that you should be doing. Anyone who likes comments, you want to have a conversation with them. So for example, here, we had five likes on it, five people that reacted to it by liking it. What you should be doing is coming in here and inviting anyone. Now, how, see how I did that is I'm going to click on the likes, the reactions, and then I'm going to make sure that they all get invited to like the page. We're gonna invite everyone to like the page because 
if they like it, then they're more likely to see it in the future, right? Remember how I talked about in the Instagram class, we're building a funnel. This is part of that funnel. We're trying to get people into the funnel from being out in the general audience to bringing them inside the funnel. So we're going to invite them so that they like it like this here. Donna has, has liked it as well as Teresa has, has liked it as well. Now, in addition to them liking it, you can hover over them. See that there? Oops, I didn't mean to click on it. My bad. Cause it won't work since I'm in the business manager. If you guys aren't set up with the business manager, yours will look a little different. Okay. Um, let it load back in. I apologize for that, but you're going to go hover over their names and you can send them a message. So you can reach out to them directly. They've indicated, Hey, I like this. This is, this is a nice post. This is a nice looking house. So what might you do? Let's say for here, if I were going to send something to cool deep Singh. Okay. That's cool. Deep. His name is cool. Deep Singh. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to message him, all right? See, I can click right here and I can message him. What might be some things I'd say to him? Hey, cool deep. Hey, I saw that you liked our Facebook ad for an open house. Just wanted to reach out and see if you were in the market to buy or if you have a friend or... Good. I don't know, maybe yep. that's too pushy. But... <laughs> well, here, here's the thing, Kevin, I want you to remember. Pushy people are pushy. And they don't even realize they're pushy. So we don't need, we, we worry ourselves too much about whether or not we're being pushy. We just need to be ourselves. And if they had, the thing you'd want to say to them is that, and that's your normal style, then that's what you should say. Right? Because you're looking to just create conversations and to connect with them with who you are. So I wouldn't worry about whether it's too pushy or not. When you're and Jeremy reading. just said, do you, what did you like about it? Great. I didn't hear that. So asking them exact, that, what does that do, Jeremy? That, that is... That is a poignant question right there. Just, hey, what'd you like about this? It's open-ended. And being open-ended, elaborate that on, I'll elaborate on that a little bit for everybody. Yeah, I mean, if you ask a closed-ended question, yes or no, you're just going to get one of the two, and which makes it, makes it so that you have to ask more and more follow-up questions versus asking an open-ended question, whatever they, whatever they say, you know, keeps the dialogue going, plus could add anyone else that's in there to say, oh yeah, I like that too, or oh, my favorite was this, because people just like to to do that. <laughs> they do. You know, and, and the more open-ended question that you get, the more intel that you get from that person. Just okay. let them talk and talk and talk. Excellent. Remember, we're looking to create conversations. So just say, you know, asking cool deep here, hey, saw you like the, the house. What What did you like about it? If that's not in your, in your comfort zone to just be that forward about it, say, hey, cool deep, I saw that you you checked out, you like one of our our uh, properties. I'm the agent working on that and I really would like to get as much feedback as I can. Would you mind telling me what you liked about it? It gets more wordy, but it kind of sets you up as to, uh, this is why I'm asking the question. And for some people they need, they want to know why you want to know the question, want to know your agenda behind it or whatever. There's all kinds of different ways. I'm not going to tell you, here is your script to use because there isn't a script to use. Just reach out to them. Maybe even just check on Cool Deep and see what kinds of things do you have in common and reach out to him that way. How uncomfortable is that for you guys when I say to be, to be using social media and their interaction with that post this way? I think it's a little more comfortable for me per se, because you, I don't know, when people are behind like a computer or something, when you don't have the face-to-face -face interaction, I feel like you're a little bit, you're not so vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're mm -hmm. able just to spit out, you know, what you want to say and just have a regular dialogue as, you know, with some people it's a, it's a challenge, you know, um, for face-to-face yeah. -face contact with, you know, trying to ask questions, open up dialogue, you know, um, just kind of be personable, you know, um, and just having, I guess, fear of rejection or maybe not being so quick witted enough to, you know, have a rebuttal or have an answer to a question. Whereas in social media, you can be a little bit more methodical yes. and you can have more time 
you know, to really get your point across. Excellent. And I think that's exactly right. And for as much as people would be like, oh, we all hide behind our screens and we say all these rude things. No, no. sometimes we're, we are, our ability to hide behind the screen allows us to connect because right. we don't, especially if we're newer, like, like Nicole, you're a newer agent. Might it be that you, you could feel when they start asking questions about the market, a little intimidated about, okay, what's my answer going to be? I don't have the answer. And if you're standing right there in front of them, all of a sudden you're deer in the headlights. Right. And I'm you get a message headlights. in social media and they're not expecting immediate response. Okay, I can go right. look and get, formulate my answer. Here you go. Right. So it's just like when I did the open house this last uh, Saturday, you know, I got thrown some questions that I didn't really know, but I just take the philosophy of, you know, being honest, you know what, I really don't know that, but let me do everything in my power and get to the people who I do know the answer to. And I will have that to you ASAP. You know, that, is the, of, that is the best script when you don't know, because people just want to know that you're competent to get the answer. They don't, they're not testing you and quizzing you to see that you know the answer. And I did not have one problem with that. Not one person was, you know, giving me some crap. You know? Awesome. Honesty is the key. It is. And so the same thing applies here. So I'm encouraging you guys to, as people in the public that it's boosted out to are interacting with that, interact back with them. Okay. Invite them to like the page, direct message them. If they comment here like this right here, O Town Home, I like it. What can we say there? Just about anything, can't we? Yeah, you can ask, what do you like it? What do you like about it? You know, again, you know. Um, yeah. Even coming in because they're commenting it, come and give it a little love. Right. Like I did just right there. We're going to respond to it because we want them to know we're going to interact with them. Now, think about when brands interact with you. When brands interact with you, what's the fear? That they're going to try to sell you. Exactly, Karen. The fear is that they're going to now try to sell me. So don't sell them. Have a conversation with them. Conversation and teaching is not selling. People get sold, but it's not selling, right? It's not received that way. That's why it's so receptive now for people when they're going to be taught on something or when you just have a conversation with them. So interact with them here. Oh, we do too. We love that it has this and this. What do you like most about it? Right? Respond back to them. Oh, we do too. Know what I mean? What that does is it will start creating other people to ask, especially if you then in the comments ask another question about the property. You know, let's say if it, let's, let's look at something here. What's something that is nice, but not the greatest? Maybe. Countertops. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you can see right here that this is, isn't the most desirable. What are people most wanting on like a countertop? This kind of countertop? Granite. Yeah, they want granite. Ports. How many of you think this property would look better with granite and what color granite would be best? Oh, but, but Jason, we're trying to sell our client's property and if we're talking about things that need to be done with it, we're gonna deter people from liking it. Are we? Um, no, you're getting them to envision that house either for themselves or possibly for someone that they know. So right. yeah, well, I could really see it like that and that would be minimum cost or whatever. Yeah. Now imagine what your comment string begins to look like as you do this and people are talking about it. And as people are engaging in the comments with one another about, oh, I like this or I don't like that. You're, 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 you begin to have what's known as social proof. And social proof is the idea that when people are going through their, their feed and they're scrolling through and they come across something like, oh, I like that. That's kind of nice. And they, I'm going to like it. But then they're like, oh, only five people in one comment. Okay, maybe I'm not going to like it because then it seems like nobody's interacting with it. And I don't want to be the first one. And if, so maybe I'll just leave it alone. Any of you ever kind of felt like that before when you came across the post? I'll say something, but I want to see what other people are going to say about it before I interact with what I'm going to say about it. By creating conversation, it eliminates that and people will jump into the conversation, I promise. It's like a snowball effect. 
as soon as people start doing it, more and more people start jumping in because they're like, oh, this is a safe place to do it. And I think this, and I think that, and what do you think? And they just want to engage. People are wanting to connect. They want to have the conversations. And now you become the place to do that. Okay. So that you can do with your post. That's just the post that we're putting out there and that you're leveraging. And you're doing the same thing when you share it onto your, onto your wall, right? So it's going into your friend's news feeds. They're interacting with it. Do the exact same thing with them. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do we feel about this? Is this doable? Yes. Okay. And you don't have to worry about everyone's going to be on top of it trying to do it. No. You're open house. You take care of it. Cool? The open house is being advertised for you. So go for it. Now, what happens when we, when we do an open house? And we block ourselves out for two, four hours. What are we wanting to do during those four hours? Mm. I promise this still relates to social media. But we blocked ourselves out for a three or four hour open house. And we're now going there. What are we expecting to accomplish during that open house? Add Pick up some new clients. <laughs> And adding, adding people to our database, which would be clients, right? Yep. Okay. Yep. And that's coming through doing what? All the open house activities. You got to talk to people, door knock, circle prospect, and then you got to load them in a follow-up box and you got to follow up with those people. Right. Because all of this is geared so that we're having conversations. Every aspect of this is geared to us having those conversations. So you, you know, we'll, we'll get, we get complaints. Uh, that, oh, my open house ad didn't go out in time or blah, blah, blah. And then we go back and we look and we're like, oh, well, guess what? You ordered your open house on Thursday. So what activities did you commit to doing that you're all up on us that we didn't get the open house out, out, out on time when you weren't even within compliance of the three or five day open house, right? So we have, you have to do the activities that are going to generate the movement for your open house. Now, let's just assume you did all that. You adhered to everything. You did your circle prospect and your door knocking. You hung the flyers. You, you, you're there. You're ready to go. And it's a completely dead open house. Nobody's coming through. Maybe because it's hot as blazes outside or it's pouring rain. I don't know. Whatever the reason is. Dead. What are you going to do for four hours? The point of the open house is to get clients. Add people to your data page. You can follow up on uh, any of the uh, boosted posts, leads that come through, get on social media and start interacting with people. Yes. It's all about the yeah, conversations. I mean, it's never really be dead. <laughs> it's a four hour time. That time you're set there. That's a four hour prospecting time. You have time block. You do yourself a disservice when that time block is spent like. <laughs> right you're trying to figure out something to do to, to kill a time. The time you should be killing is, all right, there's nobody here. I'm still prospecting. I'm time blocked. Nobody's here. I'm bunkered down. Nobody's at the open house. Maybe the one person, if you got a partner that's there with you, it's just to you. Dig in and start going after these things. Okay. Take this and post it out on other uh, groups, search for neighborhood groups and post it out there and start interacting with people. Use this to leverage it. I want you as well to post while you're at the open house, why aren't we posting while we're at the open house? Just like a picture, you know, picture of yourself at the open house and post it, heck, post it in the comments showing that hey, I'm here. Come on, let's do this. Come talk to me. Come meet me. Come see me. Or if you have any questions, I'm here. Ask me through a direct message or in the comments, right? You're just posting a picture here in the comments of the same thread that everyone's already seeing or has seen, right? Leveraging that power in the post to do that. I would recommend doing one when you begin, one in the middle, and then one in the end. So there's three posts that you make during it. Hey, I'm here, we're open for business. Hey, it's going well. What can I help you with? Here's a question I sometimes get. Here's something I thought of, whatever. And then a third one, thanks everybody for coming. Even if you had nobody, you're gonna make, create the perception that it was you had people coming. Thanks everybody who came, even if it was no one. We'll see you next time, right? <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. Perception is reality. In addition, open house lives. Okay, doing a Facebook live or an Instagram live 
but going live during your open house. Now, some things not to say when you do that for safety concerns, okay? Don't go telling them the address in the video where you're at. Okay, we want them to click on stuff and capture information and all that. Don't tell them the address where you're at. If people are asking you say, if you'd like to know the address, message me or click on the link and it'll give you the information, all right? Additionally, we recommend that you always have one other person, if you possible, you have one other person there with you or that you have a, some sort of a check-in system that you're using to stay safe, all right? Um, if you're if you're like Jeremy though, you're just you know, you're just gonna like what what's it called? No, no, whatever. Jeremy's gonna go like all taekwondo on them if they. Do oh, taekwondo. oh, you're killing me! No taekwondo here. <laughs> no, no taekwondo. Sorry. <laughs> nope. No, I, uh, our internet connection here is uh, not the greatest. You kind of keep popping in and out. Didn't hear everything you said, but. You know, obviously I don't want to share necessarily, you know, the address and everyone want them to click on that. Do you, do you see a fault when uh, if you're going to do a video and send in some of those posts of, you know, Hey, this great, whatever house that you're in townhome, you know, can you believe it's only 350,000? Right. Do you yeah, see a, a risk in that? I don't see a, I don't see a risk in that. Not, not, not telling, you know, the, the address, but kind of throwing out the price. Uh, of it uh, i mean it's it's casual when you're being on the on the on the facebook live just if you were to say something like can you believe this place is only for 350 i i don't think that's going to harm anything uh my it, a better I think it might weed people out huh? or it, i think it might weed people out or bring people in that might think wow maybe that's gonna be way too expensive for me oh wow that's only 350 we it's can only, afford yeah. that that's because just my thought i, just, I didn't know you're looking for people to engage with you right yeah so I don't, I don't have a problem if you're doing that. Others may say that, no, the better thing to do instead of saying, hey, can you believe this place is three fifty? is you would not believe the price on this place. You wouldn't think you could get a house for, uh, for under three sixty five for or under three fifty. but I'm telling you, this is one of those that can, that can happen, right? Yeah. Or something like that. So no, cool. I don't have a problem. I totally don't have a problem with that. When you do your Facebook lives now, Best practices I recommend not holding the phone. Okay, what happens when you're holding the phone? If you're like Shaky. me, you're you're you should have been a surgeon if you're like me, right? Just completely steady hand. You're shaky, and you're out like this the whole time, so you can see everything as you're walking through. And then what happens is you flip it around and no one sees you, you're walking around showing them the house. I'm gonna tell you the point of doing the Facebook Live is not as much for people to see the house as it is for them to connect with you. When you go on Facebook Live and you do it, it's your show. So think about how you would show the house as it is your show. There'll be times where you'll just wanna show like the kitchen and not be in it, but you're gonna to wanna to be talking to that screen, to the camera most of the time. They need to see and interact with you, not the house. Okay, and I, we really should be doing an open house, uh, 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 Facebook Live on every open house, an open house live. What that does is it now creates a longer lasting open house for you, longer time for people to engage in it. Right? Who I have a question. Come between the hours of ten and two, they're now seeing it on Monday in the morning. Right, two days later, and they can still interact with it. Yeah, did you say you have a question, Karen? Yeah, do you think it would be um, a good idea? I mean, obviously, so like I'm doing like the open house that I'm doing this Saturday, I got um, a lender that um, actually used to be like my boyfriend's old manager that just got into mortgage like a year ago. I just met up with him. Um, but I was kind of considering as far as like a, for a good idea to kind of get interaction is maybe just like um, doing like a, like a, like just like a quick like, Instagram or Facebook video to kind of just like let people know like oh I'll be with so and so lender tomorrow like if you have any like questions or like with the market or any questions as far as lending like let me know so we can address them and like going live with the lender the next day um, yeah. to address, like any sort of questions that people did have about like the market or have questions about like financing or anything of that sort absolutely I think that'd be great idea. 
use that beforehand and put that also in the comments so that the, the post that's out there, it's, we're not editing the post, but in the comments, you're saying, hey, by the way, I'm gonna, this lender, tag the lender because now it's gonna show up in their feed, is gonna be with me. And hey, lender, I want you now to take and share this post out on all your stuff and tell people about it, right? Absolutely leverage that for sure. And I think doing a, a video introduction kind of thing beforehand when possible, great idea. Great idea to do that. And at a minimum, writing it into the comments, a lender from wherever is gonna be here with me, that kind of thing. I think, yes, would be a, would be a good idea. Okay. The, the, when you create the Facebook Live now, and you do that again, when you think about this, doing it as your show, as a show, I don't think I, I don't know if I have one on my desk. The best thing to use is a selfie stick. Okay. Best thing to use is a selfie stick. The reason is, is you can hold it out for you, away from you, that'll get the proper angle for you. All right. Yes, you look like that person with the selfie stick, but you know, there's nobody at your open house anyway. So, so you've, you're, you've got the it out and that, that you're walking around with it. It also provides a little bit of a counterbalance, which will smooth out the video a little bit for you as well when you're doing it. And when possible, use earbuds or phone, your, your wire microphone, okay? It will just provide a much better audio, okay? And you can have that plugged in while it's on the selfie stick, mm -hmm. all right? So if you don't have a selfie stick, um, they're super expensive. I think like $7, maybe less. You might even have some there around the office. Jeremy, do you guys have any selfie sticks left? We do. Yeah. You may have some even around the office. We had some that we had made up for press play. So yeah, those ones use we selfie have. stick to do it. That that's my that's a big recommendation. I I want you to try to do. And if you got somebody there, hey, maybe they can walk around and follow you while you do it. When you do the open house, don't just walk through and be like, for example, this property here um, that you did, Karen. We'll continue to use this one. Tell me a little bit about this this property beyond it being a three bed, two and three quarter, basically three bathroom, just under two thousand square foot. Um, townhome. Tell me a little bit about it. Um, it has two, um, well, I mean, it's really spacious. It's huge. It, the bedrooms are huge. It has two cute little patios, like one um, off one of the master bedrooms and one just right off the dining room um, that have a pretty good view. Um, and it's, the lighting is really, really nice. Okay. Super bright. So right there, that is your story. That's what you're going to talk about in the Facebook Live. You're not going to talk about, hey, this townhome is so great. It's three beds, two and three quarter baths. It's 1948 square feet, has two car garage and two master beds with an en suite. It's just amazing. You got to come check it out. And then walking through and just talking about the rooms. No. Talk to people about them living there. Right? As you go through, as you go through the pictures, you're going to talk about before you go in, I'm, I'm assuming this is like out on the front. This is on one of those patios. Mm -hmm. That's off the dining room and kitchen. So maybe you start on one of those patios. Hey, I'm coming to you guys live from my open house here today. This townhome is amazing. This is a townhome you can get in downtown Seattle for under whatever. You won't believe how much space is in this house. It just like, it has all the room for you to do any kind of entertaining you want, to grow a family, whatever you're looking to do, it has a space. And I'm coming to you right now from not the front door, but this is one of two cute patios, awesome patios, whatever that it has. And then you start now going through it now. Right off this patio, let's go inside, right? As I go inside, it goes into whatever it goes into, right? And now you can talk about things about the house. So maybe that was out here, you can come in. Come in, this, look at how much room is in this townhome. This is a second floor townhome. Look at, look at the space here in this kitchen. And fireplace, does that make, does that help you understand a little better how to go about doing a Facebook Live instead of just, okay, here's the house and we're gonna go into the kitchen now and you see, okay, so here's the kitchen and it's got black appliances and you know, uh, it's plenty of open space kind of has 
the bar eating right and you're just telling people what they can see i see that happen all the time with agents who are doing open house lives and all they're doing is talking about what you can already see in the shot i think it also kind of you lose um viewers attention when you're absolutely kind of going through that you do because they don't care mm -hmm. but when you are in the shot and you are talking to them you are engaging them rather than just showing them a picture of the front door, right? Showing a picture of the master bedroom. When you are in the shot and you are talking about living there, you're talking about what you like about it, not what you see. Well, it's got a nice little seating area here. And you see, we got two seats set up here and a little step off here and onto the patio. It's really nice. And no, that that's, that's boring. That's, that's not engaging. That's not conversation. <laughs> right, remember the people when you're talking to on your open house on your Facebook lives when you're doing that these are your friends these are people you know they know what you're like interact with them and be yourself yeah okay we want to get as much life out of that as possible all right so thoughts ahas those are the main things I wanted to cover today I want to get to any questions or thoughts on this before we wrap up Nothing for me. Was this helpful for anybody? Yeah, extremely. Okay. Yes, thank you. Creating conversations, sending people the messages, and when, by the way, when, when you are, let me show you guys an example. Um, while I get this up, does anybody else have any any ahas, any feedback? Um, I like the three posts while you're at the open house. So, like the one before, one in the middle, one at the end. Um, even if people don't come through. Um, mm -hmm. I really like that. I've been only doing like one right now. So I didn't even think about doing three, but I will start doing that now. Right. Good. Hi. Deanne? Did you have anything, Deanne? I heard you say something. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I answered my phone. Oops. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I want to show you guys in here uh, some examples. You know, when people ask, like, um, for, uh, for information about the property, you know, you get people who, who give you these things like you know, blood suckers, uh, not giving you my information, blah, 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 right? You as an editor, we don't need to necessarily delete those people, but you can hide them. So let's take a look. Maybe there's some in this one here. Let's see what, what are these comments? No, let's look at this one here. Uh, I don't know where it is. I don't remember which property it was, but recently we had one where they're asking that. They'll ask you, you know, say things like, well, what's the, the price of the property? And you're going to reply back to them, hey, I private, great question. I just sent you a private message. And you're going to send those people a private message. Never answer those questions in the comments because now anyone else who's wanting to know it has no reason to come and check it out. Why are these not showing to me? Okay, this is the last one I'm going to see. Okay, this one had 17 comments on it. This, is, this can be a good example of, of them all here. All right, so we can see in this one here, let's see, I'm sure one probably asked about where it is. Yeah, so here, address please. So if this one didn't get responded to, what should have happened is that a message should have been responded back here to Jody that said, a reply that says, thanks so much, I private messaged you, take a look at the address, something along those lines. And then you send them a message that is doesn't require a res registration just send them the link without the registration and you can do that i do this usually on my phone i'll just click on the the link it takes me well that's embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> it should take me to the property the site might be we might be in the process of the site being migrated to the no, new domain 
that's what's going on. Chris is shaking his head. So that's what's happening. It's migrating to the new domain. But what will happen is you bring it up there. We'll show you how to, 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 to do that, okay? But you're going to share that link with them, a non-registration link to our website saying, here's the information about the house that you asked about. It's located in this area. How long you been looking? Some kind of question like that. Why am I going to ask how long you've been looking? Because it's an open-ended question. It's an open-ended question that you're going to look to get engagement from them. Oh, not very long or whatever. What's good to do is a day later after your open house or on Monday is go follow up with all those people who didn't respond back to you and just say something like, hey, just let me know. You'll be surprised at how many people will respond back. But there was one, I don't see it in here. There was one that somebody made a comment. Oh, I think it was in this one. Okay, so you'll see how much monthly payments. Hi, Cecil. We can have a lender reach out to you if you're not pre-qualified for a loan yet. Um, here's one. If you wanted to build another house, this is where our old house kind of is. Call them if you're interested. So this, these are what people are commenting on it. There was one. Maybe it wasn't on this one. Thought it was. There was one somebody put a post on and they were like laughing about something, you know, kind of made a comment about it. I laughed. I, I responded with a laugh on the, on what they said and responded back with a put seriously. Right. Cause they were like some kind of like, it was really grandma drapery or something like that is what they're saying. So instead of like trying to defend it and being all like, Oh, how dare you say something about my property? Get in there, engage with them. Just be personal with them. It's okay to laugh at what they're saying. It's okay to, to respond back. I agree. What What do you think would look better in here? If that's a similar comment we've had from others, what, what would you like to see? Something along those lines. Okay. But what you can always do if you if somebody posts something that is just it's it's just rude and we don't need it up here, like say for example here. Um, info, please. So these were all getting responded back to right here. What is the actual price for the property and what are the cross streets? Let's just say that they then ended it with some bloodsuckers. I can click right here next to it and I can hide the comment. You guys see that? And you'll be able to do the same thing. You can hide the comment. You don't have to delete it, but you can hide it. And what that does is it makes it so only Juan here, Juan Hernandez, and anyone who knows Juan can see his post, but nobody else can. Make sense? Yes? Okay. I think I'm starting to lose you guys now. Hope this was helpful. All right. Um, utilize the posts that we have. Very. Let's see some Facebook lives this week. I'm excited to see everybody's stuff and create conversations. Conversations are the name of the game. Everything we do is to create conversations. Your lead gen time is blocked out when you do an open house. It's four hours of prospecting time. Don't waste it. All right. If you guys have any questions, Slack me. Sounds good. Appreciate it, Jason. See you guys later. Thank awesome. you. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Thanks, Jason. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.